What's up, guys? So today we have a question by John Check, who says, um, how did you get started in tech and what's a good first step? So my advice, um, well, so how I get started in tech was um, just wanting to, you know, have games and not have to pay for them pretty much. Um, so it's wares, you know, I started off as a pirate. Um, and that was like forums that were around back in the day, like Where's BB, um, stuff like that. Uh, uh, Pirate Bay, when I was still up. Uh, aside from that, you know, it was definitely getting into the hacking scene, um, which was pretty prevalent. Uh, it's still, you know, obviously today it's more prevalent than it's ever been, in my opinion. So basically, like, I started off wanting to, you know, learn how to break into someone's email address and... That led to like hack the site and you know i sucked at it so one thing if i can't figure something out i know i can research it and figure it out that's pretty much my strong suit so i ended up doing a ton of research um and figuring it out and finding a uh youtube channel that had those answers um that i was able to you know, watch and then learn how to do it and go and do it and basically find the answers. Um, so kind of hacked my answers, I guess. Um, and that led to me, you know, talking to C-Wade12C, which I've talked about on this channel before. Um, also, real quick, guys, um, do you guys like the background? Let me know in the comments uh, if you like the background or if you think it looks stupid or it's too distracting. I'm definitely interested uh, in hearing about that. It's actually my wife so i got i got her this this thing for the side topic got her this thing for christmas and it's like you know put stars and waves and stuff on the ceiling um to help her you know go to sleep and stuff um kind of help her with her sleeping um and uh seems to work really good so um i didn't i don't want to put you guys to sleep but like uh i got it because i thought it would be a, a pretty dope background so let me know what you think i started off that way um and then you know from there just kind of took its natural course i learned you know a lot about gaming and you know mounting isos and you know grabbing stuff from you know ip torrents um and that was you know that was that that was more or less how i how i started um then i started learning more about security and you know that path just kind of naturally evolved so i would say a good first step for anyone who's looking to get into you know stuff like that uh, as far as like cybersecurity goes nowadays there are a ton of resources to be able to get into it or capitalize on you know getting into it or learning about it or you know i mean you have like you know, probably my probably my favorite one um, for those who are like looking to get into it would probably be Vulnhub, um, which you know I'll put right here, um, and in the de description if I remember, um, which is awesome. It's a bunch of free virtual boxes that you can download and hack into. So you know who doesn't like that at the end of the day? Um, but it lets you practice. You get some kind of like real world experience in a virtual environment. So like you're not breaking the law, you're not doing anything wrong. Um, and you can actually get out there and experiment and get your hands dirty uh, while you're hacking into a computer that, you know, it's, it's irrelevant. It doesn't matter. It's not going to, you're going to get sued. You're not going to get in trouble. I think that's a great way to start. Aside from that, like if I was going to um, reference like a good introduction guide to something like, you know, cybersecurity, I would probably recommend um there's like a couple of really good courses on like it fundamentals that are available on coursera um and they're not sponsoring this i don't get any money for saying this but like i want to say it was like 20 bucks for like a month or something when i did it and it might have changed by now but it was like 20 bucks and it's like you know you can go through and like hammer through some of these courses like i mean are like maybe four hours and like you finish it up and you've got a great understanding and you got like a you know, it's not really a studio. I don't think it's worth anything, but it's like from Google. You know, I put it on a resume, man. You know, um, IT fundamentals by Google. Um, then like uh, IBM has a cybersecurity uh, course on there, which is, you know, worth it. Definitely worth it. Um, and like if you're strapped for cash um, and you can't really afford it, the cool thing about Coursera is like you can go and they have financial aid, but it's not like your typical financial aid where like you have to fill out reams and reams of paperwork um it's more or less just like you 
write 500 words or more um, about like why you can't afford it and what you hope to do with it. So, I mean, anyone can do that. That's super simple um, and it's easy. And at the end of the day, like when you do the financial aid thing, you might have to wait a little bit. But in my opinion, like if you don't have the money, it's, you know, what else are you going to do? Um, and it's a free education. So I think you should definitely take advantage of that um, when possible. Also, another great thing is like Packet Storm Security. They got a ton of white papers, which are just basically papers that are going to break different things down, different concepts, ideas. That's absolutely a phenomenal resource. Um, for anyone that's old school, you've got to give a shout out to Frack. Um, Frack is a e-zine that's been around for forever and a day. Um, I still have trouble reading it. It's super, like a lot of the ideas are, to me, they're wicked low level, extremely difficult. But there are a ton of resources, you know, really primarily the biggest thing I would say to start off is like go, if you want to get into stuff like that, the first thing you should research is how to research. Go learn about like Google dorks, right? Like go un learn that concept of uh, what is a Google dork? How do I use them? What are they? Master that. Because if you master that, now you actually know how to efficiently find things. And like that will transform anything you're trying to do. Like at the end of the day, if you have a plan on getting into tech, like you're going to need to know how to utilize Google properly and powerfully. And like at the end of the day, if you're looking for a specific thing, when you're using a Google dork, it's like a sniper rifle that you can basically use to be able to find whatever it is you really want to find. And they're super easy to use. Like anyone can learn how to, how to use a Google dork. And Again, they will aid you phenomenally and cut hours out of your research time. Um, so I highly recommend, you know, that. Um, so those, I mean, at the end of the day, those are the, definitely the things that I would I would recommend. I would start off with. I mean, there's a million other things that I could mention, but again, like you know, those are the things I would start out with. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.